Welcome back. So here we are with a AC200 Max from Blue Eddy. This unit though is going back because we've had some major issues with it. We'll review that in a minute. But what I use this for is really two things. Is one, this can actually run my furnace, though not for very long. My furnace pulls about 750 watts continuous. And this is one reason why the smaller EB3A can't run my furnace is this consistent draw is greater than the draw the EB3A allows it to and also it requires up to 15 amps the EB3A only does 5 amps whereas this can run without a problem but as a single unit without the additional batteries it can only run it for about uh, 2 hours a little bit over 2 hours at most but I also run my my home office which uses about 75 to about 110 watts continuous and that's really no issue but the big issue now we're going to review is the power port in this thing when i first got it I had to update the firmware in it but then i put in the power port and started charging it that way and the problem is is that was before I started doing the solar. So I unplugged this and it was really warm so I could plug in the solar port. Uh, the solar port only goes in one way. It has a triangular slot arrangement on it so it only goes up in one way. You gotta check for that. But with this I plugged it back in after that to get it charged up and then it started smelling down here. Then when I whipped this out it, it was short circuiting. And we can see on this it melted and it melted the port i have additional pictures i'll show you can see here a close-up of the plug being melted and then of the power port itself you can see burnt plastics inside of it and it's kind of melted around it but anyways now this unit's going to go back and they're replacing it but i used one in the past and it worked just fine um this though didn't go all the way into the plug i remember that when i was plugging it in and there wasn't anything in it just a lot of plastic and I know other more advanced YouTubers that test the functionality of these things they don't like these ports these barrel plugs especially on these larger units on the smaller units they seem fine but that's all for this we're gonna have more reviews of it later when I get the replacement one um, running power tools and everything like that this one will run most power tools except really big ones that pull greater than 30 amps um, and, and we'll see that in the future but that's all for now with AC2 and Max quick update is they're nice make sure that there's no interference when you put the power plug in and it goes in all the way in if it doesn't go all the way in then when you do plug it in be very careful keep a close eye on it like I mentioned this one's in my basement out of sight out of mind and but since I was originally setting it up and then I knew it didn't go in all the way I mentioned that to um, the Facebook Blue Eddy group because the other one did and uh, it just heated up burnt out of course these units are very heavy so shipping it back is a major pain but they should be hopefully picking it up I'm hoping but it's an incredible unit for what it is um, I bought this over the pack run simply because since this is in the basement I can remote control it more in the future once I get a replacement one where the plug doesn't burn up. Anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you.